Okay, hi guys. Today we are going to talk about factory. To talk about factory, let's consider this multiplication. 3 times 5 equals 15. Then in this multiplication, 3 is one factor, 5 is another factor, and 15 is the answer or is the product. Now, also we can say that 3 times 5 is a factoring of 15. Why? Because factoring, because factorization is the other way, it's a way to express a number but in a product form. In other words, 3 times 5 is 15, but a different form to write 15 in a multiplication expression is 3, three times 5. Okay? Now, Let's talk about the greatest common factor. Now we know when to come with the factors, but we have to find the greatest common factor to start to factor in polynomials. Then, finding the greatest common factor, I give an example with numbers. With numbers, then find the greatest common factor, greatest common factor of 20 and 30. Then in the, to find the greatest common factor, we are gonna use a very common strategy. And the name is um, prime factorization. Right, prime factorization is divided by a number by a prime numbers at the smallest as possible, as smallest as possible. Then twenty divided by two, two is the smallest uh, prime number. Uh, twenty divided by two is ten. Now it's possible to two divided by two, yes, and uh, ten divided by two is five. 5 is not possible divided by 2, it's not possible divided by 3, it's possible divided by itself, by 5. Then, 5 divided by 5 is 1. When the answer is here, the number here is 1, stop, it's not possible, continue. Now, exactly the same here. 30 divided by 2 is possible, yes, 15, but 15 divided by 2 is not possible, but it's possible by the second prime number, 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 is just possible divided exact by 5. Then. It's gonna be one. Okay, now let's find. Okay, we identify now the factors. Then two times four and uh, times two is four, times five is twenty. Is the way to check if our process is correct. If the multiplication between the number here is not the number at the top here, it because something is wrong. Okay, then two is one factor of twenty, two is another factor of twenty, and five is the third factor of twenty in this case. This is one factor, second factor, and third factor. It can be more than three factors, it depends on the number. Now, let's find that factor. Now, let's find the common factors. Okay, two is a, is a factor here, but two is a factor two. It's a common factor. Two is common. In both of them, we can divide by two. Here is another two, but here there is no more two. Okay, then let's copy. Greatest common factor is, for now, is one, two. Now this two is here but not here, there is no common. Three is here but it's not here, there is not common. But we have another common number, another common factor, and it's number five. Then five is the other common. Then the numbers, the common factors in this case are two and five. And two times five is ten. That means that the greatest common factor uh, of twenty and thirty is ten. That's the greatest common factor. Okay? I'm going to provide one more example. Okay, let's analyze this second case. In this case, we have to find the greatest common factor of 180 and 420. Then, remember the prime factorization. 180 and here 420. Now, prime factorization divided by 2 is possible? Yes, it's 90. The, uh, sorry, it's 90. Divided by 2, yes, it's 45. Divided by 2, no, it's not going to be possible because it's an odd number, but it's possible by 3. And it's going to be 15. Now, 15, possible by 2? No, because it's an odd number, but by 3 is possible. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5, everybody knows, it's just possible divided by itself. And it's 1. Then we finish. Now, let's start here. It's even number that is possible divided by 2. This divided by 2 is 210. Even number is positive divided by 2. Okay? Now, divided by 2 uh, is going to be 105. 
Now, this is odd, odd number. It's possible divided by 2? No, but it's possible divided by 5. Divided by 5 is 35. Because 35 times 3 is 105. Yes? Okay, now, this is possible divided by, divided by 2? No, by 3? No, but by 5 is possible. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 7 is just possible divided by 7, and the answer is 1. Then we got number 1 here, that means we finish the factorization, the prime factorization. Now, remember, we have the factors now. All of these are the factors for 180, and these are the factors for 420. Now, let's find the common factors between uh, 140 and uh, 180 and 420. Let's identify. Then we have one number 2 here. This one 2 that's common factor. Then remember the greatest common factor is 2. Now, okay, now times. What order? In here there is another 2 that is common. Then there is another 2 that we have to copy here. Then 2 times 2. More numbers common? Yes. 3 is another common factor. Then let's copy times 3. Now, this 3, but there are no more 3s here, then this 3 is not a common factor. But now we have a 5. 5 is common factor. Then let's copy times 5. And here we finish, and here there is a 7, but 7 is not here, then 7 is not a common factor. Then let's multiply all of the common factors, and we can find the greatest common factor. 2 times 2, 4, times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60. Then 60 is the greatest common factor of 180 and 420. Okay? Now, let's use polynomials. Okay? This is strategy to identify the common factors. The greatest common factor is really important for this case. Look, we have to factor this polynomial. This case is a binomial. To factor this polynomial, we have to use the strategy for the greatest common factor. Actually, that's the name of the method, the factoring method that we are going to use in here. Then, the, the coefficients, 7 and 14. Let's apply the strategy, the prime factorization, to find what is the greatest common factor between 7 and 14. 7 is just possible divided exactly by 7, and it's 1. That's all. We finished. 14, uh, 14 is an all even number that is possible divided by 2, and the answer is 7. And 7 is just possible by 7. Okay, that means that the greatest common factor in this case, the common factor are just 7. Then, if the greatest common factor is just one number, and this is because that number is the greatest common factor, and 7 is the greatest common factor. Then, let's put 7 here, open and close one parenthesis. Now, 7 times which expression is 7x squared? Of course, x squared. 7 times x squared is 7x squared. Now, let's continue. 7 times which expression or number is positive 14 plus 2. Then, this is the factorization for the polynomial 7x squared plus 14. There is no more possibilities because x is here in the first term, but there is not x in the second term. 14 is alone. Okay, now let's solve the second case. In the second case, we are comparing two numbers, 16 and 20. And one more time, 16, let's use prime factorization, and 20, and prime factorization. Then, it's all number that is possible divided by 2, divided by 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2, and divided by 2 is 1. Finish because 1 is here. Now here, divided by 2. 10 divided by 2, 5, and 5 is just possible divided by 5, then it's 1 over here. Then let's find the greatest common factor. 2, is a common factor here? Yes. Then there's 1, 2 that is common here. Now, another 2, they are common. Then copy the other 2 here. And now, 2, but there is no more 2 here, 2, but there is no more 2 here, 5 here, but there is not 5 here. Then that means that the greatest common factor in this case is 4. Okay? Then in this case, 4 outside of the parentheses. And in this case, what is the difference between this example and this one? 
In this one, x is just in the first term, but not the second one. But in this case, both of them is x cubed and x squared. Then the greatest, the greatest common factor for variables is the variable with the smallest exponent. Okay, the smallest is a square. Then take it out of the parentheses. This, this is the greatest common factor for these two terms. Now, inside of the brackets, as here, we have to find an expression uh, that multiplied by 16. Uh, multiplied by 4 is 16. Then 4 times what is 16? Of course, it's 4. And x squared times what is x cubed? By x. Then copy. Now, exactly the same for the second term. 4 times what is 20? Of course, times 5 is 20. And x squared times what is x squared? Just by 1, then it's just 5 over here. 4x squared times 5 is 20x squared. That's it. Okay, another example. A little bit more complicated. Okay, then in this case, we are solving this, we have to factor this polynomial. Then one more time, 5, 15 and use the prime factorization. 12 time, uh, prime factorization. Uh, 27 prime factorization and 3 times uh, uh, 3 in prime factorization. And find the common factors. If you do it by yourself, you can find that the greatest common factor in this case is going to be 3. For numbers, for variables, remember that the greatest common factor is the, the, the letter, the variable with the smallest exponent. In this case, where is the smallest? 3 fifth, 3 fourth, cube, and square. The smallest is a square. Then x squared is the greatest common factor. Now open and close the parentheses and remember 3x squared times one expression is 15x to the fifth of course it's 5 3 times 5 is 15 and x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth power now the next one 3x squared times 1 is negative 12 x to the fourth of course it's negative 4 because 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 and x squared times x squared is x to the 4. Let's continue. 3x squared times 1 is positive 27 x cubed. Of course, it's going to be positive 9 x. If you multiply, it's 27 x cubed. And finally, x, uh, 3x squared times 1 is going to be negative 3 x squared times negative 1. Remember guys that the way to check if your factor, if your factorization is correct is using this degree property. When you multiply this one, this is the answer, it's correct. Now you multiply this, this is the answer, then it's correct. Then you multiply by this, and this is the answer, then it's correct. And finally we multiply this expression and it's the last thing. That's mean our factorization is correct. Okay guys, that's all. Thank you.